I'm Peter Francis and I'm a member of the French and Fly Fishers and I've been walking this water since, hmm, well let's say 35 years plus. We monitor the insect life to give us a good idea of water quality and to maintain the water quality because we did have a pollution incident in 2002-2003 when everything insect life was killed for 12 miles from down river. We've been monitoring ever since. We monitor monthly, we record monthly and as I said we record it on two databases Surrey Wildlife Trust and Riverfly Partnership. All of my figures go to the Environment Agency. So what we do, as I say, is we do a three minute kick sweep sample every month, record the, the figures and send them to as many people as we can. Oh, uncased caddis, that's an important one that one. Blue winged olive, another important one, these fishing wise these are. But there's the most important one, is the shrimps. Because they're the bottom end of the food chain. When you do the net and kicking in the river, you do it for three minutes. It's a set, set example, set sample, do three minutes and then you count what you've got at the end of that three minutes and you divide them into their different uh, varieties for want of a better word into the taxa so what we've got in here very large shrimp that one that's an olive that one that's a blue winged olive now the, the difference between the olive and the blue winged olive is when you look at them under a glass you can see straight away um, the gills are have a different arrangement if you look at that one it almost looks as if it's got a waist like it goes goes in and then comes back out and the feathery bits you can see sticking out are its gills that's how it breathes now they don't like swimming they do not like swimming look they swim like a rocking horse. They don't like swimming at all. Um, that's, a, that's a caddis there. Now I don't know whether it's got a lodger, but that case is made up of little grains of sand all glued together with saliva.